Zombie Apocalypse. <lacht> Hello everyone and welcome back to Ark One World In. I'm your host Calvin and in this week's video I'm going to bring you lots of something a little bit different but still the same. I've been reading your comments and seeing the views and you lot aren't really too interested in the TIG welding. This clip you're about to see here I've had saved on my hard drive for a few months and I thought I'd share it with you lot for this week's video. I'm still at the TIG welding workshop so hopefully I'll be back making my old steel and showing you lot the fabrication sides of things in the very near future but for the time being um, probably next week's video again will be a TIG welding video as you can already see this video is quite long that's because I've slowed it down I've not skipped as much as I would usually skip and it's more me showing my process of making it it's not so much a tutorial because I don't want to be responsible teaching you lot my habits or anything like that but it's, it's my process of how I'm making this um, the steps that I do which order I make the things in and um, hopefully you lot can find some tips in it or some entertainment value so the pipe you see in this video is shed 20 and the welding specifications is up to a class 2 so it's not gonna get x-rayed um, it's the chances I would probably get ultrasound tested um, non-destruction tested but it's nothing high pressure or low pressure usually chilled water runs through these pipes so the welding isn't absolutely critical but still it's welded to specifications of this job so bear that in mind before you drop in the comments saying why am I doing this why am I doing that so some of the technical data for this job is I'm using one mil solid core copper free wire for the MIG wire and then for the shielding gas I'm using Argon Shield Universal M24 gas mixture and most of the welds are going to be welded at a root setting, a synergic root setting the Fronius has which is at 125 amps and then I'm probably going to be capping it around 160 to 180 amps on this Shed 20 pipe all you need is a root you don't need a fill and then you just cap straight away for those of you who've been with me from the start this is a, a new YouTube channel for me it's been going maybe less than a year so I'm still trying to find my legs I'm trying to find which format works the best so drop me a comment down below let me know which type of format you lot like to see do you like it to be um, showing you lot how to make it do you want it to be entertaining do you like the music um, do you like the jumps the jump cuts what type of things do you lot look for in these videos so that will give me a rough guide to help me to understand what you lot like to see so with that being said if you haven't already follow me on instagram i've got a competition going on there right now where you can win a welding mask and you get to see a lot more close-ups and behind the scenes of the welds that i do and with that being said i have merch coming soon so you lot will be able to buy some t-shirts or stickers so check that out but that's me wrapping up now so i'm going to leave you lot to watch the rest of this video without having to put up with my voice Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And I'll see you a lot in the next one.
Campos.